Hey guys, this is Joe from the Hook and Hut, and coming to you from the outdoors again. And, um, oh, what am I getting to see? Oh, okay. Can't figure out what you were seeing from the reflection. The sun shining on this thing is sort of like phased out my, my laptop screen. Anyway, today's Tuesday, September 27th, 2016. And a big thank you to the new subscribers. Uh, appreciate it so much. And uh, thank you for coming back to all the uh, regulars. And um, I appreciate it very, very much. And if you wouldn't mind, also share it with your friends uh, and get them uh, watching and stuff. Uh, and don't forget to leave comments uh, down below. And so anyway, I wanted to say that I've got the um, uh, 8 Cup Teapot Cozy uh, went out this morning. And so now I'm working on other orders, which is uh, going to be uh, the new special coming up tomorrow, which is Swiffer covers. Ta-da! Slides right over. And they are really good, as you can tell. This one's quite dirty, and it has cat hair. Because it's very good. Cotton is very good at picking up cat hair on the floor. Uh, so anyway, so that's what I'm working on right now, but much prettier version, which is this one. Um, I got the pattern for free from Ravelry, and this is a piece that I uh, printed out. But I only had one problem with the pattern, and that's that the pattern seems to be made for the like the original Swiffer heads, which were smaller. And so with the new one, the wet-dry one, it's a, a wider pad, a thicker pad, and a bit longer. And so that's... Um, that's uh, something I've had to take into consideration when I've been working on this, and I've had to change it. So instead of chaining 18, I ended up chaining 22 to get it to fit my Swiffer bump. So hopefully I'll remember that when I put the uh, promo up tomorrow that I mentioned in the ad that, um, to please, please, please uh, tell me the um, size of your mop, the length, the width, and the thickness of it, so I'll make sure that I'm using you know, the right size pattern for your Swiffer. Um, these are fantastic though. They wash up really nice. And I'll tell you, it really beats spending the whatever, what was the last amount that I spent on it? I think it was like seven something, seven ninety seven for the wet ones. If you just sweat the darn thing and mop your floor, same thing. And um, of course for dry mopping, you know, also perfect. Just throw it in the, hello, there's a little buggy. Throw it in the uh, uh, wash afterwards and you're saving a ton of money because I was paying out, I think, between 12 and $14 a month in Swiffer uh, covers. And so when a friend of mine, Sarah Lieb of Sarah Lieb Crochet, uh, did some up, it was like, oh my gosh, that's money saver. So every month I'm now saving 12 to $14. So you can't beat that. And these are going to be on sale for seven each, and then after the sale, they'll go up to ten. Uh, so, anyways, that's just a heads up on that. Um, and I wanted to show you the next thing that I'm going to be making out of the How to Knit in the Woods book by Shannon Oki. And it's, I've got a link, a link to it this time uh, down below in the comments. Because uh, I'm going to be referring to this quite a bit. I still haven't finished the uh, campfire cushion yet. But hey, you can never have too many whips. Um, where is it? Come on. Oh, here it is. It's called the Vermont Leaves Hat. And this is what it looks like. It comes up short. I don't like short hats. I don't like short hats that just barely cover the tips of your ears unless it's a ball cap. Um, so anyways, I'm probably going to lengthen that and I will probably make it a flip up brim rather than just a, a folding brim rather than just a plain, you know, brim coming down. Because uh, I can't, unless you make, unless you make the, um, the cable stitch longer, you know, it's just not going to work quite right, at least not the way I want it. And this is going to be my first time to do cables, so that's another one. Yeah, I'm, I'm scratching a lot because my cats 
flea collar caught me underneath the chin and it's been itchy ever since. Um, so anyway, so that's going to be my new project, most likely starting tonight, uh, because I finished up my fall, uh, um, my fall, uh, shawl, uh, the other night. I still, well, I haven't really finished it. I finished knitting it, but I still want to put, I've still got to weave in some ends and I want to put, um, um, fringe going around it. So, uh, that will be that. And who knows when I'll ever get around to that part. So, but anyway, uh, so that's it for today and hope everyone's doing okay and we'll catch you tomorrow.